in exactly 12 hours time at 4.30 tomorrow morning. Hundreds if not thousands of people are going to be lined up here choosing to do one of four different race types running up this bad boy. I'm your mate Matt and tomorrow at 4.30 in the morning I'll be doing a 15k trail run up and over the famous Mount Bator here in the centre of Bali. After what was a beautiful drive up to Kintamani from where I live in Changu, I'm ready to do my registration and get this show on the road. First step is to do a health registration where someone takes your blood pressure and asks a few questions. 100k later, you're ready to go and pick up your race pack, number and goodie bag. Hello. Okay, now we have the meeting. Race briefing for 15k. 15k. <laughs> Elevation starters here. Next was our race briefing where we learnt the course and the route that we would be taking, but quite frankly, just scared the hell out of me and really drove home actually how hard this was going to be. But good to know that there was a couple of water stations. When you reach here on the top, that is the, the top of uh, Batu. Our drone! Okay, that was our briefing. We should be all set. Hotel time now, quick dinner, maybe a massage if we can find one, dip into a hot spring and just get ready for the morning. Alarm set for four o'clock. I'll see you in the morning. Okay, we're signed in. No turning back now. This is it, this is real. It's 4.30, 4.45. First part of the run wasn't bad at all, just flat and jungly for about 900 meters. But then there's a 4K, pretty much vertical uphill, which takes us almost all the way to the crater. This is pretty grueling. Everybody's resorted to walking, which is fine by me, but this is definitely pretty grueling. We've got a 4K uphill right now before we peak, and then we slowly make our way down. But this is pretty tough, just relentless. Okay, it's finally time and light enough for a little update. So we're probably three kilometers up the four kilometer incline. It's not too bad actually. It's, uh, it, it zigzags quite a lot up as opposed to a gung which goes directly up at a 45 degree angle so once you get used to it it's not too bad but we've got probably a kilometre left till we get to the top I hope it's a kilometre and then it's all down here from there but look at this view behind me that's sensational this is Roller hi <laughs> here's a, a uh, one of the kids that yes look. Yeah, this is by far the most technically challenging area so far. Really rough rock, very steep. And there's a lot of people coming back down from catching the sunrise. Um, so there's a lot of traffic. It's got to tread carefully because there's a sheer drop just straight down there as well. But there are people selling drinks, which is nice. And amazing views. Look at that. Almost makes it worth it. Almost. Oh wow, then, so we're almost at the crater, you can see it's over there maybe, this is dope, oh man it's amazing, but spectacular, so here we are at the top, this is it, it's 
absolutely amazing. It's crazy to think that our starting position was just there, I can actually see it in the video. That's where we started, we come all the way up here through the jungle and up onto this trail. <sighs> we felt pretty good at the top, although this excitement was actually premature, more about that in a minute, it was now time for a bit of downhill, which brought something a little unexpected. Of all the things I expected to see on this trail, a herd of monkeys was not one of them. Hello little friend. From what I've learned from Uluwatu Temple, don't mess with the monkeys. They run, they run the show around here. Gosh, we are going so steep down here. If anyone is running, they're crazy. So the trail uses this paper system. And they put the, someone comes out the day before and puts a little sprinkling of paper 20 meters from each other. And the rule is, if you travel for more than 20 meters without seeing one, you know you're on the wrong path. I sort of laughed at it when I heard it yesterday because I just assumed it was going to blow away. But actually it's quite effective because all you're doing is looking down at your feet. Oh, Jesus. Uh oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> what we learnt next is that what goes down must come back up as we turned around the corner and regrettably saw this. So we thought we'd done all of the up, we thought we were on the way down. As you can see, we've got loads more up to go. This might not look like much on the video, but this is a 40 degree incline on sand where basically every step you take, you end up sliding backwards. Torture. This is definitely the most challenging part. We really felt like we had finished the, the incline when we were on that peak over in the distance. And if you look up here, this looks like the steepest incline we're doing. Rolo and I have both just said that we feel like our spirits are a little bit crushed at the minute actually. This looks horrible. And then we've just got to come back down this part as well. Oh, best foot forward. Okay. feel safe staying, we're at the top. It's only downhill from now. But my God, that was horrible. I just wasn't expecting it. I thought we had done the second uphill. That was truly horrendous. The sand makes it so hard to walk on, especially as a bit of a big boy like me, putting a lot of weight on the sand. It was like one foot forward, two steps back. But we're here and it's awesome again. Look at those views. Um, okay, good. Okay, good. So we're just over a third of the way and we've done all of the uphill. Now it's a sharp downhill and then a little bit of flat through those lava spill. Maybe you can see that, maybe you can't, but there's this huge black lava spill. And we finished through there. But, um, a little bit nervous that we're only a third of the way because my legs feel gone. <laughs> we're doing two hours and 19 minutes. You okay? Keep some deep breaths. It will pass. It will pass. Try and move it if you can. Gosh, thank God that there's some experienced people on this trail. It can help people when they get injured. She's got a cramp, but fortunately these two ladies are pretty experienced runners and can help. It's beautiful, isn't it? I feel like I'm not really looking at it enough. Yeah. Just everywhere you go, you just get rewarded 
with these insane views. It's hey. so beautiful. Cheers, hi. <laughs> well done. Oh gosh. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, look at it. Look at it. Even the coming down bit there. That looks. Yeah. That is savage. And we did it. I know you can't see it, but we just came down all there. It looks horrible. Oh my God. We're athletes. I'm a full-on athlete. Ooh. Bad timing. <laughs> Okay, we made a deal that we're going to run when we get to this point. So this is the start. The second time I've said this, this is the start of our run. <laughs> Here we go. It doesn't, it doesn't feel dead safe, does it? it? Doesn't feel super safe. Just overtook someone for the first time in my life. Go on. Just watch his step, dude. And I feel like I'm running on Mars. See this steam but what they uh, what they'll do if you come up as a tour guide they'll cook sweet potatoes in the ground and use the heat of the ground like I can feel all the heat coming off the ground as we're walking by it now but they'll cook potatoes and then you'll eat the potatoes that have been cooked from the ground pretty cool experience we're not obviously doing it today but roller thinks we're getting potatoes so I'm hopeful I'm hopeful I think we're on our last bit of decline. You can see Jeeps over here. You can see Flatland over here. And I think this is the last bit of decline. I can even see a water station. Oh my God, I can see a water station. Thank God. And then it's just flat technical through the, uh, through the dreaded lava field. But I'm just so grateful to be off the decline. It's so hard on your knees, especially when you're trying to run a little bit and we've really not managed to run a lot <sighs> wow thank god for the water thank you thank you boss your water here thank you oh my god am I, i'm so happy to see water oh, yes please yes, thank you Watermelon? Yeah. Thank you. How many pieces is this? Already halfway. Are you on yeah. 15? Yeah, already yeah. halfway. Yeah. Well, there. Well, it's more than halfway. Yeah. No? Yeah, it's an eight. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're going with that. I am stopping when that says 15. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah. Appreciate you. Thank you. Best watermelon ever. <laughs> this is the start of the lava fields, which look tiny from the bottom, from the top, sorry, but literally towering over us when you're here. Pretty trippy perspective. We're back to being quite high again. Oh, it's tough. It's honestly tough. We're only at 8k. We've done about eight and a half.
about the lava fields, which means I think we're in the last stretch. I think we've got at least 5k left. It's nice and flat, no stones on the ground, and we can actually run. So here we go. For the third time, the run starts now. just in like the chili fields there's just rows upon rows of all these nice looking chilies and, and uh, tomatoes how oh, cool it's so nice down here though look at look around we're just at the bottom here just looking back and reflecting that we were at the top of there and with a GoPro that I'm filming this on it doesn't really give the perspective of the height of that but just trust me it looks horrible we're warriors. Being able to run, we're churning down the miles. In fact, I think I can see a water station. I think we're at 12 kilometers. So just a few more to go. Hello. We just found out it's 25 minutes until the end of the cutoff and just over 2K. It's gonna be quite close if there's any more uphills, which I'm just looking at one now. This is gonna be a tight end. If we're going to get there, get there before the cutoff, it'll be awful if we don't. I can hear the announcer. I can hear the speaker. It must be super close. Oh, man. Even these little downhills are so difficult to go fast. So hard to get good footing. Oh, man, I can hear him. Oh, come on. This is going to be so close. I can see the finish line. I can see the, I can see the, the uh, stadium thing. I've got 10 minutes. I have no idea whether it's a kilometer or less. Oh God, it's not, especially not. It's just the road before it. Okay. Well, I've got to say, I was super chuffed just to get over the line. But when greeting my friends, I found out that one of our friends had come second in the women's 30k. Unbelievable. Great effort, Karen. 30 minutes, 5 seconds. And four. Last thing was just to check the goodie bag, see what we'd got from this trip, and then dive into the hot springs. Right, here's cream for your uh, piles. Weird, weird bits, okay. yeah. Yeah, you can get rid of those piles. That's, Ginger turmeric. I'm actually quite excited about that. Yeah. That's, that's good. good. That's cheese good. delight fit oh, bar. Why cheese they put delight. Cheese in it? I don't know. Oh, look, you did get an almond butter helper. Nice. Oh, They're I actually like delicious. Yeah, yeah like they those. are delicious. Vitamin C tablet. That again, Just cool. In case Useful. You're, you're not feeling very well. Useful. Hopefully, there's a Garmin watch in there. Keep digging. Yeah. Oh, it's a ticket to the hot springs. Okay, good. And. Mojimusta. I'd say that's a, that is a win. Thank you very much for watching, guys. We're going to see you in another video. Hopefully our next video is going to be at Bali United as Bali United are now back in Bali and we have a Champions League coming up on Tuesday. Super excited about that. Hopefully see you there. But for now, peace out.